Hello. Last time I introduced host simulator services via web form. We are good for quick request message validation and to see expected host replies. Today I will show how to use our host simulators as HTTPS-like services to send messages as standard POST or GET re request methods and GET message responses. In your user area, go to host profiles configurations. Here you may see two sections, the list of hosts, HTTPS or TCP IP, which is your virtual host profiles, and ports. TCP IP ports are the options for site members. Ports required for TCP IP socket streams which I will introduce in some of the next video guides. At the beginning you have no any host configured. We need to create the first profile. You can create a one free HTTPS service for your test needs. When you add host you will see the new host profile records with warning. You need to configure it. In a host profile, you can set host profile name, choose stream, host specification from available on-site host. There is a few TCP IP and uh, streams which will require ports and only one HTTPS stream, HTTPS MSG, which we will use today. In the host options, in the drop-down list, we may choose host specification for this host profile. Let's select the same Amex Global Credit Authorization Guide specification as we use it in a past demo. Don't forget to save your settings. Now you may see the start stop button switch shown in the menu. When host service stop it or, mis or misconfigure it, you will see the broken icon link. Let's start our host service. Now you will see we started timestamp and uh, the link to your URL of HTTPS service. Clicking on it, you may open URL of your HTTPS host simulator. Without any requests, the URL should show info message with stream type which is HTTP POST GET and host specification which is IMX Global Credit Authorization Guide. This means uh, the service is ready to use. The service URL contains the global identifier of your host profile. When you create your host profile you will get your own global identifier value. HTTP POST GET STREAM expect to receive host request messages in ASCII or in case it is not ASCII format as a hexadecimal string without delimiters as those characters can be recognized as a part of request message. In other words, it should be the same format of a request message you use it in the message parsers on site or you send uh, via web form host. For this demo we will use the same authorization request as used in the web form demo last time. As a quick test of HTTP GET request you need to add question mark after URL 
of host service and place your message after when you can send it in the HTTP response you will see Amex response message in same hexadecimal encoding it is no matter how your request was sent as post or get HTTP method when we go back to the host profile we can see uh, in uh, one transaction appear now in transaction list at the moment those transaction traces stored only in memory and can be cleaned without notification as it was with web form host demo the known test cards and test cases can be detected and validated also here in transaction list you may see transaction type timestamp from the message terminal and merchant identifier message id and uh, request reference numbers authorization codes and uh, messages card pan entry and value transaction amount and currency and uh, if card or test recognize it you can see the references of card and test also you can see my simple statistic of the test validation as it was with web form host demo the details you can see under each transaction in a list here you may see the logs of validation and uh, cart and test detection and you can see parse it message request and parse it message reply Feel free to test your terminals or switch solutions, sending test authorization messages via our HTTPS stream. That's all for quick introduction. Our HTTPS stream for the testing.